We have a new guest on the couch. We do. I, I, I love your name because I just want to say Do North, but yes. it's... We have Orion North <laughs> here uh, at the the Marvel Lounge. How are you today, sir? I'm doing well. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Ryan North, writer of Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, and you yes. also just wrote a recent book that just came out last month. Yeah. How to Invent Everything, Everything About Time Travel. Yeah, it's a, it's a guide for if you are a time traveler that gets stuck in the past, your time machine breaks down, this book has everything you need to invent to reinvent civilization from scratch. So I have to admit two things. One, I love the concept of ever being able to travel in time. And two, I love Squirrel Girl. Uh, I've said this a billion and one times to my fellow hosts, and now everyone in the world will know, when I was a kid, my nickname was Squirrel. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, I, I could not How did you more. earn the nickname? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is not the way I wanted this segue to go. Uh, so but we we're doing it live. Had a very great. Hi, Mom. Uh, so we had a really big oak tree in the backyard, and squirrels uh, used to chill out because, you know, acorn squirrels, yeah. it's a yeah. thing. And uh, we had a chimney, and sometimes the chimney flute would be left open, and so squirrels, as the as the tree got bigger, the tree went over the chimney, and the squirrels would go down into the chimney chute because acorns would fall into the chimney chute. Yeah. So one day we forgot to close the chimney chute. Squirrel got into the house oh. and ransacked everything uh, the, in, into, like, little pots and everything. And so after that, whenever something happened in the house, I would always say, the squirrel did it. <laughs> so eventually my mother's like, okay, squirrel. Cool, cool, cool. Good talk. Uh, and so to this day, uh, my nickname and my family, when they want to say that I'm up to something mischievous. Right. They call you Squirrel. Uh, Squirrel's squirrel. up to it again. Uh, so I have, a, I have a very, very deep love for <laughs> Doreen uh, because I feel like she's that quirky, amazing, fun, good-hearted, um, and just, I wouldn't say flawed, but, like, she's not perfect. And right. she's great. And she's, she's, like, the best, best friend. The best friend. She is. I like I like her her optimism. Yeah. I like that she can see the best in people. Um, her drive too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that she doesn't feel bad about being a superhero. She's like, this yeah, is great. This is Let's go do some awesome stuff. Now, a recent <laughs> issue that came out, a character didn't speak a single line. Yeah, it was her silent issue. It was your silent issue. Like, talk um, about yeah. that and how was that it seems very yeah. very hard for Doreen. Well, I didn't <laughs> yeah, think it would be hard, and then uh, I started to write it, and I realized, oh shoot, this is a comedy book, <laughs> and I can't put any punchlines in here I should have thought this through a bit more <laughs> and so we, it ended up being like a lot of physical comedy a lot of like there'll be signs in the background that have the jokes Yeah. but it was a really satisfying issue and oh. Derek Charm the artist just knocked it out of the park because when you're doing a silent issue like you're still writing the issue but the artist has so much to carry because you can't yeah. you've done all you can you can't add anything else at that point and he did such a good job. It ended up being like one of my favorite issues. Yes. Yeah, and it's really incredible. Like to me, one of the things that really pulled me into the story. Yes, she got a big heart. Yes, I mean clearly Tippy Toe is everything <laughs> to me. Uh, there's actually a really great cosplay right now in front of the stage where she has a Tippy Toe where she can move the hand. Like oh she can my actually God. Like, Tippy Toe hugged me. It was great. Um, You're living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> living the dream. Uh, but her punchlines, like Doreen has no shame in how corny she is. Yes. And it's everything. <laughs> I was like, I opened up my first issue and I was like, <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing at the end of the day, but also she still believes in people. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, she's the kind of person who, um, you know, is funny and enjoys making your friends laugh, but she's always going to be laughing with you, not at you. Like, she's very, very positive. It's, it's a fun person she's a fun person to write because you get to like have these jokes and have yeah. them fit into the like it, it takes place in the real marvel universe it's a legitimate six one is it still the six one six or did we get rid of the numbers anyway it's yeah, the real so marvel it's, universe no 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 it's still six one six yeah it's yeah. six one six yeah, our clocks are all set at They're six directly one behind six. us well to remind you <laughs> where <laughs> you are excellent <laughs> and uh, yeah so it takes place in the, in the six one six but it's um her little corner of it is a bit more funny and, and happy. Yeah. 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 We have a question from Social. Yeah. So do you ever receive feedback from your work, and how does that help um, the work continue? Yeah. Um, so there's a Squirrel Girls on Twitter, and I run that account. I help her run that account. <laughs> and really? So, yeah. I've, so we've talked before. <laughs> <laughs> we've interacted online. Um, so we do it together. 
And so I'll look up Squirrel Girl stuff for her. To, these days, most people send her, like, if there's any squirrel news, she gets it. She gets yeah. it. And um, she gets tagged in, like, reviews, and people are like, oh, I, I read this book, I really liked it. And I'll be like, oh, that's great, retweet. And so I see a lot of it. Um, Sorry, what was the question? Is it nice to see feedback? You it is. Get, yeah, like yeah, you never get feedback yeah. on the, yeah. Yeah, no, I love it. Um, it's, I mean, writing is about sharing yourself with others and seeing someone, proof that someone read it, enjoyed it, and bouncing that back to you is terrific. Yeah. yeah. So we have another Twitter question, which we may have already touched on a little bit. Right. What do you think are Squirrel Girl's best qualities? <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> um, she's just everything. She's just, it's got, the, okay, the... The empathy, like the understanding, the, the sense of humor, the proportional speed and strength of a squirrel, talking to squirrels, uh, her, her friendships, like the people she has around her, yeah. Nancy, Brain Drain, Chipmunk Hunk, Poi Boy, uh, Craven. Craven. Uh, they're all, like she's really good at building a community around herself. And I feel like that's a, that's a superpower right there. She, I mean, she kicks butts and eats nuts. Yeah. And a power that I just learned about when they were in the Escape the Room, she has the power to bite through metal. Yes, yeah, uh, so squirrels have very strong uh, jaw muscles, and if you scale that up, because they can bite through acorns, if you scale that up to human size, uh, you have, it's, I did the math, it's just beneath the pressure that's required to crush coal into diamonds. <laughs> so she's, she's just shy of that. So very easy to bite through solid steel at that point. 